what's going on everybody today we're going to be doing a cod tier list video it is honestly a long time coming starting off with black ops 2 it is kind of a fucking joke they gave us one of the best cods ever to start off with i'm gonna try and give you guys like a little spiel of time that i spent with these games Just take you back best gun to me pdw no that's probably not a common thing people say but i do know that it was an op gun for a while my favorite gun in the entire game when it comes to guns it had a great variety when it comes to movement it didn't really start getting crazy with movement in black ops 2 it has some of the best maps though like slums and at the rocket ship map that was a pretty good one not one of the best one overall black ops 2 is nothing lower than an a it's even debatably an s you got infinite warfare this is a hardcore movement game i didn't really play too much infinite warfare played a little bit of it with my friends when it came to playing like alone and grinding multiplayer i wasn't really into it on this game i know that it was one of the better ones actually i think that's aw i'm gonna go with my gut here i'm gonna put infinite warfare at the c played it a little bit but nothing to where i can give you guys a full solid opinion on it aw that was the one where the movement was also out of this world and it was different in a good way a lot of these movement games so i didn't play as much i'm trying to think of like just maps and when i think aw nothing really comes to my mind there's not really a gun besides a speakeasy that i'm pretty sure could have been an in infinite warfare so like i'm not even for sure about that best map i can't even get anything to come to mind ranking system nothing comes to my mind but i know that this game was widely liked when it comes to the movement series so for that i think that i'm going to put it also with the infinite warfare even though i think it's a little bit better to the masses i haven't played it myself so i'm gonna put it right there as well we got call of duty 2 here never played this one we're gonna go ahead and throw this in the never played category although i did play call of duty 3 which is crazy to think about that i've been playing the cod series for so freaking long but i did play call of duty 3 it was really just like an army game with a story i don't really remember there being a multiplayer there might have been it was fun and it belongs in the d category just gonna leave it there now we can get into the bread and butter games that really set call of duty up for longevity call of duty 4 it is still talked about to this day as one of the best cards because it just was a game that people just enjoyed that fucking much the remastered version is also good i played this cod more than i played call of duty 3 obviously i still didn't play it enough to where i can't remember how it made me feel you know like with some of these games that i'm about to talk about i just played the shit out of them i remember how it feels and some of them are more recent than others but with call of duty 4 i know that i had good times on it i just don't have memories that are just wanting me to put it anywhere above a b it's not like b is a bad thing Thing, but I do think that you could argue with this to go in A. The maps were good, the guns were good, there was a little bit of staleness when it came to streaks because you could obviously only get a certain amount and then you would just have to wait till you die to reset but yeah when it comes to Call of Duty 4 it's a great game. The one that put COD on the map for real for real. I think with that we can leave it a B. The next one, Black Ops 4, I want to put it in fucking B again. I want to put it in B and then just move COD 4 up to A because that just looks right. I don't think Black Ops 4 deserves to be next to COD 4 because when it comes to just iconic history and shit like that, they're just not the same. I think we're going to do that. I think that's fine. I think that's feasible. And I think that I won't get flamed because of that. Now we're going to go to Call of Duty Ghosts, another game that I did not play enough of, man. Like, there are some CODs that I played a lot of and I just didn't like, but there are some CODs that I played a lot of and loved but there's some cards that I played none of, and that's honestly Ghost, man. Like, I saw what Ghost looked like. I saw a little bit of gameplay, played a little bit of it. The movement wasn't for me, that's for sure. This was one of the weirdest cards, if I'm being honest, because the movement was, well, not, not, I don't know if it's a movement, but I feel like the, the maps were trash. I do remember that, like, blatantly. I think that this honestly deserves to go in C as well, man. C as well. You know, I really don't think that the D is for anything other than these, you know, really low tier games that are just put out to get the franchise started, I guess you could say. Moving on to Modern Warfare, I kind of have mixed feelings about this game because I like it. I like it a lot more than I think I should. It was a fun game, you know? Competitively, it was one of the best years that Call of Duty had because it was just so intense. Fun to play because Dale, it was good when it comes to guns, like there was a good variety. I still think this was a, like, a, a C plus Call of Duty. Like, I can put that in there with Ghost, and this is what needs to happen. I think I need to put Advanced Warfare in B because this looks right. But Black Ops Cold War isn't up here. Modern Warfare 3, um, yeah, one of the best Call of Duties ever. So we're just going to put it out there now. There's few games that I have played that, have, that make me feel like Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 2 and 
COD 4. There are a few games I play that make me happy to that extent. I also want to almost call it underrated because I don't hear it talked about as much because I feel like Modern Warfare 2 overshadows it. It still gets the recognition it, it deserves on some level. It's an A-tier COD, man. It's an A-tier COD because the maps were good, the guns were good. When you can just think of a COD and think of certain moments and maps and guns that you know you used and loved using, like it just, that's how you know the game left a good impact on you. That's how you know the game was fun and you know, it left that long lasting emotional feeling on you. So that's, in my opinion, how you judge a game. But moving on to World at War, this was another game that I started playing really early. And this is personal opinion, everybody, so don't come at me. But World at War was a good game. It was one of the ones I started playing with my cousin. He was the one who got me in a cot at first. World at War, and then I'm pretty sure MW2. That's where that whole thing started. But World at War was a good game to me. I feel like it belongs in B because it had a great zombies. It had a pretty good multiplayer. It was kind of weird. It was just different from what we got after that game. We're just going to put that in B and leave it at that. It's an old game. It's kind of hard for me to remember that far. World War II, straight trash. Besides the fucking ELO system ranking that every pro player and person who plays competitively says was the best one that any COD has had, I found nothing good about this game. I played it for maybe a month after it dropped and after that I didn't touch it at all. I do regret though not playing a bit more and playing in the ranked because there still has not been a good Call of Duty ranked system, and I mean ELO system when I say that, since this game, which is sad. It is something that the COD community wants, but we'll never get it as it seems right now. So moving on to Black Ops, this is either a love or a hate thing for most people. I love it i remember playing it pretty much every day when it came out don't really remember too many guns or maps on it i do remember one snow map but black ops was iconic in the sense that one of a kind or the first of its kind it was just a good fucking game and like i love cod and you know we've been through some ups and downs but they've dropped some real bangers they have gave us some real studs when it comes to games and though they're not really giving us what we want right now you can always go back and play those games and these are the most sold games of all time and so people are going to be playing these games until the end of time i'm pretty sure and so but call of duty don't even know what this is just gonna throw it right there i think this is black ops 3 black ops 3 was fun but it's a b tier game and it's a b tier game because it had c tier movement compared to infinite warfare you know it might even be a c tier game but i think i, I think c is good i think c is okay i just don't like a lot of these games unfortunately remember too much i'm kind of going off feeling you know stitch, sticks with you the longest you know emotional memories and stuff like that but you know I think you guys already know where this one was going. You guys understood from the get what you saw at the end, where it was going to go, and nothing else got placed in this category. Modern Warfare 2, literally the best game of all time. Now, you could do this if you were serious. You could do this. I think that's a great list. I think that is an accurate list. I think that is a list that COD players can get behind. I myself can say I support this fully because this shit right here looks fucking perfect. Let's do one more quick review do one more you know a little dash through see what we got here so s tier modern warfare 2 black ops 2 i don't know what it is about the second generation when it comes to these games but they're fucking dope man they did not miss when it came to these two games easily the most talked about in the call of duty franchise and it just goes to show because they hold the most weight when it comes to the nostalgic feeling and overall make you feel good man like these two games were one of a kind and need to be remastered multiplayers like the community just fucking needs it at this point man it's not even funny how long we've been waiting to get a modern warfare 2 remastered no one even talks about black ops 2 multiplayer remaster we just want modern warfare 2 because it's the best a tier games call of duty 4 modern warfare 3 i think that list can stay and also black ops the first one i Honestly, could argue to put COD 4 in S tier just because it kickstarted everything. Let me know in the comments where you guys would have put any of these games. Let me know what your favorite game was and which one you think you spent the most time playing. I for sure probably spent the most time playing. Let me think, let me think, let me think. I had a lot more time back then. So it had to be Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare three or black ops two one of those three are the ones that i played the most let me know which one you guys played the most and maybe what level you guys got to in them i don't know just let me know what cod you guys is, what cod is your guys's favorite and with that being said hope you guys enjoyed this tier list maker once again shout out to taylor morris for giving me the inspiration for the video he 
did one yesterday and posted on his channel. So if you guys want to go watch that, go subscribe to him. I'll leave a link in the description. And I'll see you guys in my next video.